exciting times, vlog. I don't know what we're up to, but we're just gonna get into it. Going to Beachport, another big patrol trip. Uh, lots of, uh, last time I went there, I busted a drive shaft in the Navara. So I'm taking all sorts of things to get me out of a pickle next time. I'll walk through that in a second. But I guess uh, the prelim to this is we've got uh, a supercharged vehicle and a turbocharged Y62 coming on this trip. And everyone wants to hear about that. So I'm gonna talk a bit about the theory, my thoughts on that before we've seen them in action. And also we've got a bunch of coil lifts and uh, lower control arm lifts. So not in this video, but over the next couple of days, I'm gonna record a video on that too. Um, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about like, yeah, my thoughts before we get into the detail. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you what's down here and what I'm packing for this trip. And then we're gonna like go, like it's, I don't know, 6 a.m. We've got six hours to drive. We're meeting a heap of patrols there. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, 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 go. Somehow all of that has to fit in there. So what do we got here? Just so you know, uh, you know what I pack for these trips. Uh, drive shafts, small drive shaft for the front, bigger one for the rear. They're like, can go on either side, right or left side of the car. So you only need one of each, theoretically. Uh, same as this, if, uh, if you've got a rear bar or a long range tank, uh, you should probably consider getting billet arms. I haven't got around to that. Andrew Casso, you say you don't watch my videos, but I'm pretty sure you do, and this will be a test. I need some billet arms for my car. Because what happens is, uh, if you've got too much weight, this area there can pinch um, and throw your alignment out. And <laughs> So I'm taking a spare. Uh, to get this out of a car, usually, to get the bushes out, you have to cut through here. We very carefully preserve this one so we can use it as a spare part. Um, so that's come along. Um, I'm running, I'll say this quietly, negative 12 offset at the moment. Um, so I'm a little bit anxious. I've got extra wheel studs, um, smaller spaces if I need, uh, heaps of recovery gear, sand flags. This is the new recovery gear that I'm taking with me on trips. So this is the Sabre Ultimate Pack. It's got like everything you could possibly need. Uh, and it's like the highest quality stuff. So that's coming along. Um, <laughs> every roadie tool that I can find and battery soldering irons, uh, impact drivers, uh, there is a 32 mil socket in there for the small drive shaft and a 36 mil socket for the bigger drive shaft. All the other bits and pieces. I've been wanting to do a review on Stanley toolkit versus King's toolkit. I keep taking away on trips, but I never get around to doing the review, but that might happen this weekend. And what else is in here? I don't know, just other odds and sods. I'm going to take some spare stuff for other people if they want it. Um, oh, that's probably important. Uh, if I'm going to clear codes, I need to get like a scan gauge or something. I don't have one. Uh, Dynamotive gave me this thing ages ago uh, and it clears codes and a few other things. So that's going to come in for the trip. All right, time to pack the car and get out of here. Who have we got here? We are on the road. We're heading there to Beachport. Just caught up with Charlie and Maria and Sean. So. Uh, the convoy has started. We're a convoy of four, and we'll see how many more we can catch. All right, it's starting to get real now. Uh, everyone, need, I don't know how many Y62s are around us, but some are just popping up. We've got uh, uh, Warren over here. He's just popped up out of nowhere. He's not even on Facebook. And he just saw us drive down the road and he's heading down the beach board as well for the weekend. So um, there's a plus one. Uh, Steve's like down the road, we're at Kingston. He's looking at Larry the Lobster. I'm like, Steve, come on, we've got, we got stuff to do. Anyway, I said I was gonna talk a bit about superchargers and turbos. And like I, <laughs> jack of all trades, master of none. I know just as much, just enough information to be dangerous, to be honest. So. My sort of preconceived ideas of turbocharged cars is they take a long time to get on boost, but when they do, they are insane. Um, superchargers, from what I know, they have you know a lot of power down low, um, and that's mostly noticeable at the bottom of the rev range, um, where turbos are at the end of the rev range. So full driving, how's this gonna go? Like, we're, we're lucky enough to have Charlie with his um, supercharged troll just over there, and we're gonna have Ilya with Wifey 62 because Dirty 62 is being built. 
So we're gonna get test this out, I guess, over the next couple of days. All right. Hey. We are here, and there's a lineup of 62s. Yeehaw. Let's get in and say good day to everyone. Yeah. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Look, everywhere. Everywhere. 60. Oh, that's not a 62. How do you get in? 62s everywhere. Oh, even one down there. All right, we already have a bit of trouble. Lucky I brought this, because guess who needs it? <laughs> All right, so we're just uh, adding up the bill here. Double bubble, public holiday rates, 400K delivery fee. Uh, we've got the um, fuel levy and um, the non-genuine non tax. So um, I think that, uh, I'll just chuck that in the bill. Yeah, thanks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Unfortunately, Charlie has too much power. 37s, supercharger, equal <laughs> drive shafts being a consumable. I think we've done two on the route of his now. Well, this will be the second. Um, actually, it wasn't the drive shaft, it was the boot that let go. So it's probably somewhat lift related. Anyway, it's a... It wasn't happy. The roads to get into Beachport were so bumpy that, you know, the, the poor CVs are doing this and uh, just let go. So, like, uh, catastrophically, like, the boot is gone. Oil grease everywhere. So, luckily for these things, it's like 36 mil bolt. Don't even have to take the wheel off. Um, I think it's uh, six 16 mil bolts on the spline end. Uh, pull it out either side. Job dunsies. So, it's not... It's not a big job to do on the fly. Right, we're a couple more hours on. I did, I did toy with not filming this part because I don't want to add to uh, uh, the dilemma. But there's a bit of work going on over here. I'm not going to talk about that. A little bit of work going on over here. We're not going to talk about that either. Everything is sweet. We're all apples. We're just going to go full driving tomorrow. So you brought your tools, didn't you? Nope. No, why I'm didn't you bring your tools? Yours, <laughs> your tools. Ah, but like, we don't need tools. Anyway. From now on, we are calling this part of Beachport Caravan Park Pit Lane, I think. I've changed a drive shaft. Well, when I say I, I was helped <laughs> last year on the Navara. Uh, I've done uh, numerous tyres that I've had to change on this little bit of bitumen here. And uh, now we're doing a few other little bits and pieces. We haven't even gone full driving yet. That's the weird bit. So, <clears throat> well, what happened? Somehow the handbrake cable got caught around Charlie's drive shaft. Very unfortunate. But yeah, anyway, we sorted that out. We're getting photo bombed at the same time. Yeah, go on, go on. Uh, also, just um, uh, one of the studs on uh, Wifey 62. So Wifey 62 is Ilya's wife's car because Dirty 62 was getting a little bit out of control and a bit of an animal for sort of school runs. So he bought Wifey 62, his wife, uh, <laughs> a Y62 Series 5 and um, that I still remember this it was just over 12 months ago he said we are not going to touch it i um, going to leave it standard it's a beautiful car just leave it alone now look what's happened we're fixing it <sighs> alright anyway one thing I can <laughs> be happy about community as always has jumped in everyone's working on this car there's parts coming out everywhere um and this is a good weekend already, but better to be had. Kids running around like a little posse. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, all right, let's see what happens next. Darkness. Oh, no, hang on. I need my face in the light. Here we go. <laughs> Darkness is upon us. All cars are fixed. It's like nothing happened. Nothing happened, did it? No. Nah. No. Nah. All sweet. 
nothing happened. No, no, we're all good. We're all good. It's just, um, all right, so we've got a big couple of days coming up. We're going to look at coil lifts. We're going to look at um, low control on this, turbos, superchargers. We're going to like smash this out like we do on Dash of Road and um, like learn a little bit and see a heap of stupid shit. No, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was talking to me. Oh, hey, that's my line. Yeah, yeah. 